My name is Jake here with what is for now the last of the big power electric blasters I'll be checking out. This time it is the 505 model and this one is a drum fed semi-auto flywheeler that again runs off six double A's and includes a lot of things for your money. Now you get the blaster, you get the scope that you see, a hundred of their darts which they have in two big bags, you get more of their targets which again I find that to be kind of neat. I wish other companies would include some sort of a plinking target with their blasters. You get three of these. They're manual. They knock, get knocked down. You flip them back up, reset them yourself, and go. It includes their eye protection, which aren't comfortable, but I'm going to stop nitpicking it. It's better than nothing. We'll put it that way. The darts, however, don't use them. I, I again ran the test, and they were getting 10 feet per second lower one and I'll tell you when I get to the the performance data on this it is well worth using your own darts but they do include a hundred of them and they even do throw in the six double A's that are required to power it which you fit into the stock here there is a single uh, Phillips head screw pop that out and you have your six double A's that you arrange in the battery compartment there now the drum on this is a 30 round capacity drum. It is actually extremely easy to access. The foregrip has a little orange button that when you depress that and slide the foregrip forward, you can then take the drum out. Now, if they're going to be smart about it, they will sell more of these drums because this is something you should do. If, if Big Power Electric listens and watches the video, they need to sell this as an accessory separately. I don't care if these are 10 bucks each. I would rather have a couple spare of these than to have a stack of mags. Because how they, well they designed the blaster makes it to where this drum can pop in and out as easily as changing a mag. I mean, that's, that's ingenious to me. It was one of the things I noticed instantly. Because, of course, when you get the blaster, the drum is out of it and you have to insert it. A lot of brands you know, the major brands, you have some sort of a long pin, basically, that gets clipped into place or slid into place and locked into place where you, you know, some of them don't remove once they're in place. This one, that's, as, that's easier than most mag changes because your hand's already in place, whether you're, you know, right hand dominant or left hand dominant, it's very, very intuitive to push that button to release the, the whole drum. Now, that drum holds 30 rounds, which is a good amount. And, again, the same build quality that I've seen in every one of their blasters is included here. And, also going to note, the included scope is Nerf compatible. This scope fits Nerf rails. Nerf accessories fit this rail. It is the only rail on it. It's the only attachment on the 505. Because, of course, it has an integrated stock. No muzzle attachment. Just a nice big chunk of orange up front which I approve of, and the same ergonomics. The grip is nice. The st integrated stock is a little on the short side, but it's meant to be kind of a, you know, very compact, very maneuverable blaster. Be great for close quarters. Now, speaking on performance, all you have to do is hit that rev trigger, let it rev up, and fire. And spam away into your heart's content. Now, putting this over the chronograph, as long as you don't use their darts, using their darts again dropped the FPS all the way down to 10 less than the average I was getting with the random mix of darts that you were seeing in the drum. I use everything from worker full lengths to Busby Precise Pros, Busby Long Distance, uh, Nerf Elites, Adventure Force Waffle Tips, X Shots. Basically, the whole variety that you would expect to find in a community bin if you go to your local Nerf War. Well, throwing all those in, I came up with an average of 76.1 feet per second, which is solid performance for a straight-out-of-the-box blaster. Which be And, of course, that beats Nerf's standard average of about 70 feet per second for their modern blasters. So, it's, again... This is the continuation of what I've seen with Big Power Electric, is that they make a solid blaster, 
because again, the, the same quality is inherent here, and I, I'm going to note this again. Check out the shell here. Let's look at this. This is not a decal. This is their name molded into the plastic of the blaster. That's kind of a, a really nice touch. That's That actually kind of exudes a name brand kind of feel to this compared to the normal run-of-the-mill off-brands that just slap a decal on and it's a decal that they just print out dirt cheap and the blaster may be sold under 50 different names. Well, obviously this Big Power Electric 505 is only going to be sold as a Big Power Electric 505. It feels more like a up-and-coming name brand rather than an off-brand. And the feel, the ergonomics, the quality when you hold it, it's it feels, well, to be honest, it feels way better than Nerf Elite 2.0. This feels on par with Dirt Zone's latest offerings, and that says a lot. Feels, everybody knows Busby to be my favorite brand. This feels on par, if not better than most of Busby's latest. The, the Alpha Auto 72 is a very nice feeling blaster. This is right up there with it. So, again, good on you. <laughs> Big power electric. 76.1 feet per second average, 30 round capacity drum with a very intuitive, easy to release you know, system here where you just hit the button, slide the foregrip forward, and the drum is easily to, easy to remove. I'm literally easier than most mag releases. So, all good so far. Same quality, same great ergonomics that have been inherent in every single one of their blasters so far. Good performance. There's got to be a catch. Because right now this is this is my favorite blaster along with along with the pistol. This is my favorite blaster that they've sent me. Because I, I am a drum guy. I love drums. But there is a catch. And it's a big catch. I hadn't said anything about the price. There's a reason. It's $59.99. Because I will put the link in the description of this video. But the price is $59.99. That says a lot more about the whole name, kind of up and coming name brandedness of Big Power Electric compared to other off brands. Is that this one is kind of one of their flagship. This is like their non mag fed flagship. And at $60, that's a lot. Now, I do believe it it stands up to the quality of everything else out on the market. But it still is a 30-round capacity semi-auto flywheeler for $60. That's a lot. And I am going to make that a sticking point. You're going to have to decide for yourself whether $60, that's three $20 bills for this. That's that's a hard pill to swallow, even though I really like the blaster. Because I mentioned the, the Alpha Auto 72 for a reason. I rated that as a home run of a blaster from Busby. I've got that sitting behind me. And that was $30 for a 72 round capacity drum fed automatic. Now, it doesn't have a really high rate of fire, but this is semi-auto. So it doesn't either. Yes, yeah, so you can spam the shots real quick. And this drum feeds even smoother than the Alpha Auto 72. And the blaster feels great. I don't have any mark against the blaster. I'll put it that way. The price tag is the sticking point. $59.99. That's a lot. If this was $45, I would call it a home run. And I know, $15 may not seem like a lot to some people. It is to me. I mean, it is. That's, that is, that's gas, gas in your vehicle, that's a, a meal out, that's, you know, a lot of things. And when you're comparing things like this, when you got a name brand, like Busby, who's making the Alpha Auto 72, which is a great blaster, for 30, it's hard to say Yes, I approve of this thing for 60 So I'm, I can't. I can't put my stamp of approval on it, even though I love the blaster. 
And I'm going to leave it kind of like that. Because Big Power Electric has something great going. I mean something great, to be honest. They have better quality than Nerf right now. And I do feel comfortable saying that. And again, I'm going to point you in the direction of the Blaster Institute, run by one of my patrons, David Bolak. He reviewed a lot of these, and he shared my opinion on the quality. This does not feel like an off-brand. It feels like an up-and-coming name brand that's probably... I could picture, like, three years from now, this being one of the main blaster brands out there on the market. I, I actually could see that. Because they're expanding. They send this with every blaster. This is their future lineup, kind of. It's not. They're not all out yet. There's 12 there pictured. And some of these are still in the pipeline. I know, uh, I know for one, about a month from now, the, the more premium blasters toward the bottom of this, the uh, model 503, 509, and 527, they said those are going to be coming out in about a month. So I hope to get my hands on those because I do believe this company has a lot good going for it. A lot of good. This one, that high price tag is going to be a decision you got to make. So... I'll leave it on that. I'm thoroughly impressed with the company. I love this blaster. And I do appreciate them sending it to me. But it's a hard thing to say that $60 for this, that's something, that's something I can't determine. That's got to be you yourself, the viewer, checking this out and saying, yeah, I like what I see. That thing looks awesome. But it's 76.1 feet per second average. In a very very nice solid package great ergonomics overall better than anything nerfs putting out right now so I can leave it at that if it's worth if it's worth the $60 to you the link will be in the description below to where you can go check that out they just put that up a couple days ago and I will also direct you to blaster Institute ran by David Bolak one of my patrons thank you to him for being a patron and also thank you to all my patrons you actually really do help keep the channel going but also, thanks to Big Power Electric for sending the blaster. Check them out on Amazon. Link in the description of the video and in the pinned comment. And check out the other videos I put. I'll leave them here and here. Check out some of the other Big Power Electric blasters I checked out. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.